springtime is upon us, which means it's time for spring cleaning. And the most important thing to clean out this spring is to kill the inner victim. Guys, we absolutely must end this downward cycle of negativity and perpetual limitation that I see so many people stuck in from choosing to be the victim. From choosing to be the victim. Guys, we have to take extreme ownership of our lives. If anything changed in any situation, what's the only thing that, I'm sorry, if everything remained the same in any situation, what's the only thing that we could change? It's what we do. So we must stop being a victim to the world at large, to the things and people that run the matrix, and to everybody we encounter all day long. Let's stop allowing ourselves to give other people power over us. Because guys, you realize that's what you're doing when you say somebody did something and now you're a certain way is you're literally handing all of your power over to that person, situation, or condition, and you're being a victim to life. And I used to be the worst of this because growing up in a physically abusive household, I felt like a victim. I did. And at times I probably was. However, as I became an adult, I still latched on to that victim thinking and that built a world full of victim experiences for me. Because wherever we focus our attention is where energy will flow to. So when we put our attention on being a victim or being offended, then guess what will manifest a life full of? Yeah, that's right. Victim experiences and offense experience. Because people who get offended are offense seekers. Let's be honest. I know this because I used to be one of them. Guys, we have got to take responsibility for our life. And the way we do this is through our daily non-negotiable programming, keeping our word to self and to others always, and never missing. When we do this, we begin to build confidence in our subconscious mind which by the way confidence in the subconscious mind is different from confidence in the conscious mind the confidence in the subconscious mind is true confidence like we believe we are confident the subconscious mind is constantly recording everything we think and say about ourselves all day long everything we say and do and most people's subconscious has been programmed to allow them to perpetuate victim thinking and to build a life based on victimhood. And I have seen enough of it, guys, and it is absolutely has to go. We must kill the inner victim if we have any hope of activating our purpose and living to the potential that's been placed on our lives from God, the grand creator of all. I see too many people literally squandering away their lives because they choose to be the victim. Guys, you can change your situation. If your life is jacked up, if you're in the gutter right now, if you're stuck in a low frequency pattern or a low thought or behavior pattern, guess what? Good, because you have the power to change it. And it starts with becoming aware, having awareness, acceptance, and alignment with the eternal truth that you are powerful of all things through Christ who strengthens you. And he will bring you through anything that you are experiencing and God will use whatever you go through for his good. Because rather than being selfish and thinking about ourselves all the time, which to be honest with you guys, that's how I was yesterday. I was having a struggle with quite a challenge of a day. I was caught up most of the day thinking about how I was feeling not so great about myself. I was doing everything I could with all my programming to boost myself and it really wasn't working. And then I realized, dude, give, love, live. I have to give of myself. Get outside of my head by engaging with another human and helping serve them. Then I started to feel love because the person I was helping was feeling love flowing through me. Then I started to live. I became alive and started feeling much better yesterday because I stopped selfishly focusing on myself. I stopped allowing myself to be the little victim because guys, it is incessant in our society today. People get offended and people are victims. And that's what's built this world to be jacked up in the ways that it is. We have to put down the victim thinking. Guys, we have to, it's killing us. It's killing us and our dreams. We absolutely have to step into taking responsibility for our lives and everything in them. It is our responsibility to take responsibility for our lives and that will drive results and drive success. 
We also must focus on serving others, fulfilling our purpose, finding the cure for our pain. I just spent a whole day yesterday battling all of these mental giants. A lot of them, honestly, were just imaginary evils. However, I spent the day battling them, and today as I went to make my content, I was being reminded from above, hey, this is what you just dealt with yesterday, was battling and killing off the inner victim. Make a video for others today who are probably dealing with the same thing or some variation there of it, and serve the world. Give, love, live. So here I am serving you guys, encouraging you that if you feel like a victim, it's time to check your ego first and foremost. Ouch, yeah, I know that hurts, right? Probably triggered a little bit of a dispenser response even just saying that right now. It's time to check the ego. It's time to do some exercise, activate a peak state, do some journaling to figure out what's going on within you that's causing you to call for a victim experience. And then take responsibility for your life, for your thoughts, for your actions and everything in your life and live as the person that God made you to be, to serve and steward and shepherd others. This whole world is so fragmented and isolated right now, and so many people are starving for human connection and community. And you could be the one that changes your community. You could be the next person that actually causes a massive turnaround in your life, which will cause massive turnarounds in other lives, because the highest form of influence is results. When you're living your life in your purpose, on purpose, when you are serving and stewarding others in the highest capacity without recognition or care for what's in it for itself, and when you are fulfilling the call on your life from above, you will build a fulfilling life, and it's literally the antithesis to victimhood. Because when we take responsibility for our lives, and we live in our calling, and we live with our purpose at the front of our actions, thoughts, and energy all day, every day, we fulfill the reason why we have been created, which is to help other people. Like I was just sharing, the purpose of life is to find the cure to your pain and share it with others. I figured out how to cure my victimhood pain. Now I'm sharing it with you. I pray that once you share, once you cure your victim pain, you'll start a channel. You'll start social media videos. You'll start recording information and sharing it and encouraging others so that they can overcome those same battles. A lot of people dealing with victim hooks are addicts and alcoholics. I've been there before. If you need some help, shoot a DM, leave a comment, get in touch, guys. We are here to help each other through the storm. And no matter what you're going through, no matter how dark it looks right now, when you take responsibility for your life and you start taking action on the things you must take action on to get traction and get ahead, you will be blown away by how rapidly things turn around when you focus on living your purpose and serving others every single day. Now get to work and get out there and shine brighter.